Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, House Bill 4594 is an important initiative that I have been working on uh, for three and a half years at this point. This is a result of the Statutory Fees Task Force, which I think many of you have heard of uh, in a variety of bills this session. It's a very important initiative. We were told, we being the state of Illinois and all the states of the union, that our fee structure for fines and fees in criminal cases and civil cases is completely out of control. What has happened is we have, we have effectively charged a tax on all our residents that has nothing to do with the, the fines or the charges in the criminal courts that they have been uh, charged with. So you end up with cases where uh, a traffic defendant ends up being charged with something related to, um, you name it, uh, firefighting, so to speak. So what the task, for di task force did, and it was a task force comprised of Supreme Court, the Supreme Court assigning judges, the Illinois legislature, which included myself, Senator Mulrow, uh, and retired uh, uh, Representative Elaine Neckritz, and members of the Clerks Association, along with the executive branch, we studied the issue to determine how best to resolve the issue. The result of that is House Bill 4594. The bill fundamentally does three things. One, it makes all of our fines, or all of our fees, not fines, all of our fees consolidated. It consolidates all of our fees into unified schedules. So that now, at present, the clerks of the 102 counties different ways. They're disparate, they're out of control. This will make it transparent and uniform. Number two, it will realign them so we comply with the Supreme Court's requirement to make this constitutional. And number three, and in my opinion probably most importantly, it will provide for waivers for low-income individuals and the working poor, and the working poor. So we're going to do some very important changes. This will be a sea change in how we do uh, criminal assessments in the state of Illinois, and we will lead the nation in this reform. It's important to understand also <clears throat> who supports the bill. I interestingly enough, I have in front of me a letter from the Illinois Supreme Court, somewhat rare. The judicial branch does not typically weigh in on pending legislation. They made an exception this time and uniformly recommended adoption of House Bill 4594 because of the importance and the need for it. And it comes with a little bit of an impl implicit threat, which is that if we don't do this, they will find a way to fix it. But the way they fix it will not be how we fix it. They will declare the fees unconstitutional. So we need to address this. This isn't an, an option. But more importantly than that, I have the support of a great number of social service agencies, too many to list. We also have the support of the fire marshal who is actually voluntarily taking a reduction in fees because they know once the uniformity of this bill comes into play, they will probably receive more money even though individual defendants will pay less. We have the support of the Illinois Farm Bureau, a critical group. We have the, import, the uh, support of the Illinois Truckers, an, again another important group. I could go on and on. The, the state police as well support. This is an important bill and an important initiative. I am very happy to answer any questions uh, and I would urge an I vote.